America is an angry place lately. So much rage, so much hostility, and Nickelback isn't even on tour. Look, I know we all have a right to protest the things we don't like. I get that, and I support it. But you people need to stop protesting like assholes. You're all acting like a cat that just found out we're getting a new puppy. You see, the idea of a protest is to get a message across. To get people to hear you and sympathize with your cause. Making people miss out on Dunkin' Donuts before work will not make them support you. Protests aren't supposed to be about ruining other people's lives. Blocking the streets, looting stores, and flipping cars, beating people up. Oh no, wait, that was just Denver after the Broncos won the Super Bowl. But violence, violence is not the way to get people to hear you. If you punch someone in the face, sure, they're going to hear you. They're not going to be listening. They're just going to be thinking about punching you back. Now, I don't care if you're protesting Donald Trump or Black Lives Matter or Green Apple Skittles, which, by the way, are an abomination. There are right ways and wrong ways to protest. Some of the most successful protests ever involved nonviolent things. Hold up a sign. Walk a picket line. March on the mall. Write a folk song. Sit on a bus. Lay around in bed for five days. Maybe do a comedy routine. Or stand in front of a tank. Actually, no, don't do that one. You're definitely going to get run over. The point is, though, a protest is supposed to be a demonstration of your message, not of your anger. Remember that old saying, two wrongs don't make a right? Stop being the second wrong. We are truly fortunate to live in a country where we have the right to voice our opposition. We have a right to protest. So stop abusing it. Stop throwing your tantrums like a little kid and protest like an adult with hashtags on Twitter 